Okay, so I've got a question with me over here. This is under bearings, okay? So there is a very important point which you need to consider. They've said R is due south of Q. So Q is right here. R is due south. So this is south and this is north, okay? So this is north right here. They're supposed to be N. It's north, okay? So now how do we find the bearing over Q from P? So the most important thing when it comes to bearing, it's the weight from so from P, meaning you need to stand on point P right here, okay? And with bearings, we move clockwise. So when you stand on point P, you, you do your north. So this is our north. And then you start moving from north all the way up until you touch the line that is joining the two points, P and Q. So now how do we get to find this bearing? There is a property we need to use. So let's look at the property and understand what it's supposed to do. So we really need this property over here. So you can see this is north and north. So meaning the angle which is right here or the bearing at this point must be equal to this angle. So if this is 40, uh, 47 degrees, then this is also 47 degrees, okay? This is the property we are supposed to use. And the angle which is right here is equal to the angle which is over here. So if you're able to see nicely, it's forming some kind of a Z. You can see this is Z. It's coming like this and then it makes a 10 just like that. So the angle where it's making a 10 and the angle where it's making this 10 will be equal to each other. And these other angles will also be equal to each other. So now let's apply it to the question and see what we're supposed to do. So if you're able to see nicely, they have given us this angle right here. So we can use property of a straight line to find uh, this angle. We know that uh, this is a straight line. It's 180. So we shall say 228 degrees minus 180 degrees. So when we do this, we are going to get a 40, 48. So this will simply give us a uh, a 40, 80 degrees. So the angle inside here, this angle is 40, 40, 80 degrees. So upon knowing that this is 48, now using the other proper, uh, the property that I showed you, like from here we are forming a Z. You can see this Z. So this is also 48 degrees. So now it being a bearing, we are going to write it as a 0, 4, eight degrees it's supposed to be three figure bearings okay so this is the bearing we have right here for the next question they're saying we find the bearing of p from uh, r so always you go to where it's saying from so from r r is right here you do your north of which our north has already been done so we shall move like this like this up until we touch the line that is joining the two P and R, okay? So now this is the bearing we, we need. So how do we get this bearing? We need to find an angle here and we subtract it from 180. And how do we find the angle here? We also need to use uh, a property. So let me show you the property I'm talking about, which we need to use for us to find uh, this angle over here. So this is the property we need. So I'll just give you an example. This is a triangle. When you want to find an angle right here, you, of course, add these two. So that is 49 plus, uh, plus fifth, uh, 56. 49 plus 56 is giving us 105. So we shall say one, 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. Because uh, this 105, it's, uh, it's the sum of these two. And we subtract from 180 because we know that... Um, a triangle or the angles in all the angles inside the triangle they add up to 180 so if we say this angle plus this plus this we're supposed to get 180 so we want to find what is here we we'll add these two and subtract their their sum from 180 of which it will just give us a it will just give us a it will give us a 75 so this is a 75 degrees so this is the property we need for us to answer that question, okay? So let me check. 
So you can see there's an angle here, an angle here. So for us to find this angle right here, we use, we need to use property of a, a triangle. We shall say 72 degrees plus 48 degrees. What are we getting? We're getting a, we're getting a 120, 120 degrees. So now this 120, we shall subtract it from a, uh, 180. So 180 minus 120 degrees. This will give us a 60 degrees. So the angle inside here is 60 degrees. So now to find the bearing we're looking for, we're going to say 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. So 360 is the property of a circle. So we assume this is a circle, and then from the circle, we just remove a 60 degrees so this will just give us what uh, a three three hundred degrees so our answer here is three hundred degrees thank you so much for watching please share the video leave a comment and uh, like bye bye